How's it guys and girls? Today I'm going to talk about ballistic coefficient and basically you're going to use this when you want to make your uh, range cards and this is extremely important uh, because this will uh, affect the holdover a lot if you don't get it right. Now from what I've heard is that the ballistic coefficient of the Daystate Wolverine's barrel is different from other rifles. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to calculate the ballistic coefficient of a certain pallet uh, that you would like to use um, and basically what you're going to need is the pallets that you want to use or want to know what the ballistic coefficient of that pallet is um, I'm going to use the JSP Jumbo Heavies, the 18.13 grain pallets and you're going to need some sort of chronograph I have a crony chronograph it uh, doesn't matter which one uh, you're basically going to use it's just to get an average uh, of the pallet speeds um, at the muzzle and at a certain range so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just a quick one five shots at the um, barrel uh, or at the muzzle I'm going to see what the, the five shots uh, speed is uh, at the muzzle and then at 50 meters now you can uh, put it where you want to um, I'm just gonna stick at, at 50 meters because my range here is not really um, that big where I can shoot at and um, I want to look for something with a good backstop like a tree or something that I can shoot into so uh, let's get to it the first stop is the five shots uh, at the, the muzzle and then at 50 meters and then I'll tell you what you need to do from there Okay, so basically the first stop will be the uh, short five shots that I'm going to take at the muzzle. I'm going to shoot into a tree over my chronograph. So uh, I've already loaded up my, my pellets. So here it goes. I hope the, the chronograph will work right because uh, the light is not really that good. So here it goes. First shot. First shot is at 834 uh, feet per second. I'm going to use my phone just to write the, the shots down. Okay, so I'm going to make it muzzle. And first shot is 834 feet per second okay second shot So basically, uh, the gun is very consistent. Uh, there was only one pellet that was going at 843 uh, meters. But uh, it seems like the average should be around 835 feet per second. So that was the first five shots at the muzzle and at 50 uh, meters uh, will be the next five shots and then we'll see what the average is over there and basically we're going to use that then on uh, hawk check on pro and that will basically calculate the ballistic coefficient for us and that will be the specific ballistic coefficient for that pallet in your rifle okay so i've set up my uh, chronograph out at uh, 50 meters and um, I've got my magazine filled up again uh, because as you've seen I took four sh uh, six shots the previous uh, round uh, at the muzzle uh, and for some reason the chronograph gave me an error at, uh, or at one shot or, or with one shot so um, I just loaded up uh, with 10 uh, pallets again 
and um, I'm gonna try to see if I can get a reading on the chronograph from here. So uh, let's see what the first shot does. Seven twenty-five. Seven thirty-four. I got an error again. Another error. Lighting must be bad over there because I keep on getting errors. There it goes. 738. Another error. Here we go, 7.32. So as you guys can see, the Daystate Wolverine is actually quite um, consistent and it's not really, or it's not regulated at all. Uh, the first five shots, I got one uh, pellet that went a little bit fast uh, at 843 um, feet per second. And with the 50 meter uh, shots that I shot, uh, although I shot a little bit more than I should have, uh, but my chronograph is giving me problems. I got one pallet that went a little bit slower than the rest at 725 uh, feet per second, where the rest was in the 730. Uh, Feet per second so very consistent i know five shots don't really say much but um it's just to estimate to get the ballistic coefficient so i'm gonna pack up and i'm off to the uh, computer to uh, put in my data uh, on hawk check on pro and and uh, we'll take it from there and i'll show you guys uh, how you need to do this to get your ballistic coefficient to make your range cards as accurate as possible okay so it is a few days after i shot the, the previous uh, footage but um, i had to finish up that uh, previous video before i could edit this one and yes i did make this video or start this video when i was making the previous video and the reason for that is i got so frustrated with missing uh, so much um, i actually asked a friend what I need to do to change the ballistic coefficient because I knew it was the uh, the problem now just uh, show you now how I, I know that it was the problem so let's get into walk check on pro you can start it up on your um, Mac or your Windows uh, PC and I'll take you through all the stuff um, so first of all when you open up uh, uh, walk check on pro you will get all your information that you entered uh, previously and that you have saved up um, as you guys can see, I've been using the JSB 18.13 grain pellets with a ballistic coefficient of uh, 0 0.370. Uh, 
and the muzzle velocity of 851 uh, feet per second uh, I actually changed this to match the point of impact in the field so this was just by changing the figures until I got the point of impact on this small reticle over here to end up where I shot at a specific range which is not the way you want to do it so this is how it looks at the moment um, this is what I, I've been using um, and it's not been working as it should so I'm gonna tell you guys now how you need to change it um, so basically uh, when you go to your projectiles I first want to show you guys this uh, and you choose 0.22 or whichever caliber you're shooting at you have a small list that you can choose from but if you scroll down to the JSB exact heavies the 18 grain ones you get this ballistic coefficient of uh, 0 uh, 0.330 which was not working for me so basically what you do then to calculate your ballistic coefficient uh, you add your or you do have your uh, average um, velocities at your ranges so basically you're going to go to tools and uh, we're going to say calculate calculate ballistic uh, coefficient from uh, velocity distance so a uh, difference sorry so um, first up you have your your velocity at the nearest range uh, that, this will be at the, the muzzle um, and mine was uh, 837 feet per second and I was shooting sorry I'm gonna put it here so you guys can see um, and I shot at the range of uh, 50 meters and the average velocity over there was 735 uh, feet per second so it's almost uh, 100 feet the second difference so when I say calculate I get a new ballistic coefficient of uh, 0 0.0554 um, and when I press OK it automatically puts it in um, into the ballistic coefficient tab up here so the new reticle looks like this and um, just to show you guys oh, I need to change my velocity up here as well because my velocity now changed as well this is the correct data not the the wrong data I'm gonna press enter there and um, you'll see it changed a lot I'm gonna put this one here and then I'm gonna don't know if I will be able to do this but I quickly want to show you um, this is the I'm gonna put it like this and then no it's not gonna work let's see I'm gonna put it right here so you can see more or less the difference I can shoot 10 meters further now so everything shifted up a little bit um, and not so much on the shorter ranges like I mentioned before but when I wanted to reach out there as you can see um, at five, 140 um, meters it shifted up quite a, uh, a bit so that little bit it shifted up makes a big big difference so basically that's all you need to to do then it's just by going up to tools, clicking on calculate uh, ballistic coefficient from velocity difference. Your uh, range at the nearest point, your muzzle, and at the range, you must put in the range there. I chose 50 meters, and the uh, uh, average that I, I got from, um, from that range. At 50 meters so that's basically that and I'll tell you that makes a big difference so now you can make a proper range card with the correct um, uh, information ballistic coefficient your muzzle velocity 
and you don't need to do it like I used to do it just estimate and hope for the best I must say uh, out of all the air rifles that I've owned the from the Benjamin Marauder the Caliber Gun Cricket and the Daystep Marine excuse me the Benjamin Marauder was actually the most consistent one and the one that I shot the most comfortable with um, the ballistic coefficient on on that rifle was dead on as Hawk Chicken Pro gave it to me so I didn't even think twice when I picked up the rifle and aimed and took a shot and that's how it needs to be when you, you go out in the field you don't need to go sit there and hesitate and wonder um, is my shot placement correct or not like I mentioned in my previous videos it's all about ethical hunting we don't want to go out and injure the stuff that we shoot so I hope this whole video was helpful uh, if it was helpful and you would like to see more videos like this uh, give it a thumbs up so I know that you guys are interested in stuff like this and also leave a comment down there I, I would like to reply to you guys and thank you for your support and last but not least the guy who helped me with this you guessed it Matt Dubber thank you very much for for sharing your your knowledge with me uh, it helps a lot and it helps me to help other people um, and I like to to help these guys uh, struggling with the same stuff that I do so thank you very much and I'll see you guys in the next one cheers